what it do baby welcome to my channel or back if you're subscribed if you see the title then you can see we're getting into this soft glam makeup look and we're gonna be talking about some other things new year's resolution so you know i'm not even gonna bother y'all because there's a lot of talking in the video so if you want to see how i got this gorgeous soft glam look then keep watching fun fact this is actually my second time recording this video the first time I got about three-fourths of the way through and then my phone ran out of storage. So here we are again for round two. So in this video, you know, I just wanna chill. We just wanna do a little soft glam, a little look, you feel me? A little look, you feel me? Let's start off with New Year's resolutions or goals, however you wanna classify it. For me, I think they're just things that I've been working on for some time and I just want to like continue working on it or maybe change the way I go about working on certain things. So the very first thing on my list is to make healthier food choices, okay? Last year I went on a major like health journey and it went so well and I was doing so good. And then around August of last year, you know, I went on vacation. And from August, it just snowballed for the rest of the year. It just went down and then the holidays hit and... So going into new year, I wanna get back on my health kick. I wanna start making healthier choices again because I did so good last year. And I just, I wanna find that motivation again. Um, and it coincides with the second goal, which is to be more active. Again, I'll, I'll make a whole separate video on this. I done bought an exercising bike. I was on it today. We are, listen, we up in here, we cycling, okay? That's what we on for the 2020 cycling. My third goal is better saving slash money management and for me to make a monthly budget, okay? Right now, you know, it's just, I know how much I make. I know how much I save a month. All what I don't save or pay with my little, you know, student loans and bills, that's turn up money. You know, 2020, we gotta be a little bit smart about that, okay? We gotta make better choices. We gotta do better when it comes to saving. So for the, um, what? All right, note to self, a little bit goes a very long way. This is my first time um, using this. I just wanted to try it. I feel like it would have, it's nice for soft glam, but um, as we can see, a little bit goes a very long way. This is the Suva Beauty um, Liquid Chrome Illuminating Drops. I didn't even like actually do any drops. I just dotted it on my face three times and here we are. lesson learned use a micro dose of this lesson learned got it so like i was saying before i was really interrupted by these illuminating drops 2020 is the year of what is the year of what savings okay saving that's the key word that's my word for 2020 saving the next goal is another thing i can make an entirely separate video on and that is to wear clothes that make me feel good wear clothes that make me feel good that make me feel better that make me feel confident and put together and i've been working on that like working on my style my fashion creating or discovering my personal style because for a long time i feel like i didn't really have one i just like saw things oh that's cute bought it and this year i've just really been for the last couple of months i just really been working on like curating my personal style um buying clothes that fit that personal style i definitely want to get into styling videos i would love to do what i wear in a week because you know i feel like a lot of a lot of people have nine to fives and especially if you're a plus size girl like getting that casual luxe fashion like there are not too many plus size bloggers that do the whole casual luxe thing were definitely on my list um wearing clothes that make me feel good and i would like to start you know showcasing those clothes for other women who may be in the same position as me my next goal work on my time management 
I definitely want to start being on time more. When it comes to my friends, I don't know what happened. I think it was around the time I started wearing makeup. I think that's what it is. Because before, I used to be the friend that was like super early. Like, I'm rushing everyone else. And then somewhere over the last like, I want to say five years, I became the friend that's always late and I hate it. I hate making my friends wait, so I definitely want to be on time. You know, I love and respect my friends and I want to respect their time. So in the 2020, I would love to be on time when it comes to hanging out with my friends. Definitely something I want to do. The next goal, it like, when you just read it off my list, it sounds like huge, it sounds like a really big deal, but it's really not. And that is to make a life guide and figure out my next steps in life what i really mean by that is make a timeline i know what i want to do like i want to retake my gre's and my psych gre's and apply for phd programs and all this stuff so like i know what i want to do i just have to make the timeline for it like when am i going to buckle down and do this do i want to start this year do i want to start next year i think it's a little too late to start this year because uh applications are due in november so that's a dub to sit down and i need to figure out my life guide. I need to put it on a timeline, a schedule. All right, sis, when we doing this, when we doing this, when we doing this. So that's what that goal is about. And if any of you are watching this video and like you're in a PG program or you're looking to apply to PG programs, I would love to hear about your experience. Please drop that below. <laughs> Paying for PhD programs, finding programs that's funded. Spill all the tea about the PhDs up in my comment section. Thank you. Greatly appreciate it. Let's, let's chat. Let's chat. Message me. Let's chat. The next goal is something I've been working on for like a year and a half. And that is to be nicer to myself and to forgive myself. I feel like... And this is something that applies to a lot of people. We are just too hard on ourselves. Like, oh man, where do I even begin with this one? It's just like, honestly, I feel like social media has a lot to do with it. I feel like if we don't see ourselves in a certain position or when we compare ourselves to others, we start to feel bad about where we are in life. And it's just like, nah. That's not it, Chief. That's not it. And most importantly, this is this definitely goes for stuff that's like out of your control. Or like, say if you do make a mistake, I definitely think you should take accountability and stand up and in your mistake. But at the same time, I feel like dwelling on something you did wrong for forever, or tormenting yourself for something you said like weeks ago, like move on baby you don't got no timeline you can't go back you can't take it back you said it all you can do is be sorry and forgive yourself be nicer to yourself forgive yourself like the only person you're hurting by dwelling on it is yourself so you might as well just get over it and keep it pushing now being nicer to myself and forgiving myself definitely just coincides with the next goal and that is to be confident in the woman that I'm becoming and the choices I choose to make. When you make a decision, I mean, you you just can't turn back time. You just, like, that's what I'm, as I'm getting older, I'm really starting to just realize that, like, you say something, you do something, and that's it. That is literally it. You cannot go back. You can't change it. You can't change a different choice, like... I'm learning to just accept things as they are. And when be honest, it's kind of lit. When you just accept that you can't really change much and that there is no time machine, you can't go back, you made the choice, you made it, life becomes a whole lot easier. You start stressing over way less, way less. And so that's something I've been working on and I want to continue working on because it's lit highly 10 out of 10 would highly recommend you're like all right i made that choice it wasn't the right one how do i fix it instead of sitting there dwelling on the past which you can't fix get yourself up dust yourself on and keep it pushing and 2019 was definitely the year of that for me 2018 and 2019 and i'm telling you baby 
when you accept that mindset, life just be, it just opens up. It just becomes so much more fun, so much more lit. You start dwelling on such little things that you, that are just out of your control. It's very, very lit. The next goal on my list, and this is something I'm very excited about, it is to try new things and find a new hobby. I don't know why I say it like that. The world is big and I want to just try some new things and get out there. So to coincide with this goal, um, I plan to take a new class, like a different class every single month. So I think January is going to be um, a sewing class. I definitely want to take uh, some type of art class. I would love to take like a beginner's instrument class, maybe the piano. I just want to really try some new things in 2020. In addition, when I say try new things, I also want to meet new people. Like I love to find some friends who, you know, share the same hobby as me. I love and adore my friends dearly. But I don't really have friends who like are into the same things as much as me and it kind of, you know, it kind of sucks. Of course, I love my friends and we have things in common, but like, for example, I love, like, I love movies, but specifically, I love horror movies. I love horror, thriller, mystery, suspense, give me all of that. And I don't have not one friend who enjoys horror movies, not one friend kind of sucks kind of sucks so again you know to my friends watching this i love y'all i do but you know i want to find friends who are into the same thing as me so i definitely want to get out there i want to try new things i want to meet new people and find you know hopefully find a new hobby and this heavily goes with my last goal well the last goal on the on this list i'm sure i'm going to add more and that is i wrote this in all caps stop waiting for others okay if i want to do something do it go for it do it life is too short to be waiting around for other people and this goes for everything you want to see the movie you want to go to the class you want to go to the show whatever you want to do don't wait for nobody you do it you go on your own turn up all right brush I'm trying to have a moment right now with the people and you over here falling every two minutes. Can you not? Like I was saying, if you want to do something, you do it. You go for it, okay? Life is too short to be waiting around for other people for you to do things that you want to try and that you're curious about. I'm sure I will add more things in the next couple of weeks. This is kind of just like the things that were heavy on my mind and heart in the moment. I never contour, you know, I'm just doing this for the camera, right now for the camera. <laughs> because this is just such an extra step, like who has the time? Your favorite. 
every song Translation, ven aquí mami, así que no Yo quiero go anywhere, vos y papi mores Espero yo pase puto pendejo, el pinche cabrón Let's get it, nice like this, I'm a night like this It's more than my hand, I fight like this And I'm more than a man, I'm a god If you say I'm god Two pay job and a two just pop out of that pay job and blah And when I say do, 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 do It's that PK She wants some more of this, I give her more of this I owe her this, in fact I know she missed the way I flow at this I'm full of this, I know my Houston partners drop a four of this I'm full of this, it's slow it down, down you know, I normally don't do the va va voom here because it's just is a lot, it's a lot of maintenance. I'm more of a sleep straight girl, but I'm like really into this. I am like very much into this. For a year and a half, this was like my go-to look. If I had to be anywhere, if I had to go to any type of event, this was the look. And I haven't done it in a minute. So this is bringing me back. It's still a banger, okay? She's still popping, she still look good. It's just, it's so nice and like soft, but yet like batty at the same time. I'm living. Let me stop. I'm all, I'm just, I'm not even looking at the camera. I'm just looking at myself. Like, give me video suggestions, challenges, things you might want to see from my channel. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and I shall see you in my next one. Bye.